Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, in this video we are going to look at managed instance group. All right, so if I go to compute engine here and go to the instance groups, so I've logged into my just me an open source uh, Google Cloud account. So today we are going to look at the instance group. What is instance group? Uh, what is managed instance group and how to create one? So instance groups are like if you want to group a lot of instance together and manage them collectively, then you're going to use instance group, right? So basically what we are going to do is uh, we're going to create an instance template uh, which is needed and we're going to specify okay so I want these many instances at all the time so if any one of inst any one of those instances goes down uh, then the instance group will automatically uh, create another virtual machine so how it knows how it knows what to create and how to create the virtual machine so that is based on the instance template so if you want to use the instance group, you need to create the first step is to create an instance template. So instance template is nothing but a specification. It's just a template um, from where you can create multiple virtual machines. All right. So um, instance group is the basis for the auto scaling group, load balancers and so on. So in the future videos, we will be looking at uh, auto scaling groups and how to put uh, how to put your web servers or application servers behind a load balancer um so those those kind of details all right so for this video let's not worry about auto scaling group or load balancer or anything we are just going to look at the simple instance group so how you can manage your group of instance using an instance group so for that the first step as i mentioned is to create an instance template let's create our instance template so create instance template okay give it a name so i'm gonna say it's web server template let's choose uh, f1 micro and then i'm going to leave the disk as the debian uh, default one um, along http traffic firewall rules so this is nothing to do with uh, the web servers or firewall rules or anything this is just to know something about the instance group how to create one so i'm not worried about uh, fine tuning any of these options and under management security disks and networking if you go to networking you can specify which vpc network you want to put this instance group um, and which subnets so subnets are so when it, when it comes to creating the instance group you will be given an option to choose whether to go with a single zone or multiple zone which we will come to in a minute when we create the instance group i will show you the difference uh, but as you know uh, from my previous video, the subnets are regional, which means your single subnet can span multiple zones in the same region. So you got to choose which subnet you want your instance group to create all your in, uh, instances. Okay. So if you want, you can create network tags, attach uh, IP. Signal. It's it's similar to creating your EC2. Sorry, I keep saying EC2 because I'm from the AWS background okay so pardon me and uh, it's just like creating your instance that's it but you're not actually creating it we are just creating a template that's it okay so i'm going to click create so we've just created the uh instance template so instance template tells you how to launch and what to launch so we will be using this in our instance group so if i go to instance group so before that, if I go to VM instance, it's a clean account. I don't have any instances, any disk snapshot images or anything. We just created the instance template. Let's go back to instance group, create instance group. And let's give it a name. Web server instance group. My web servers instance group or something, whatever you want to call. So this is what I was talking about single zone or multiple zone so you can specify how many instance you want this instance group to manage and then uh, you also specify whether all those instance needs to be launched in a single zone or multiple zones so for high availability you can see it here to ensure high availability uh, it's uh, it's best to spread your instance across multiple available availability zones right so let's choose multiple zones only managed instance group can exist in multiple zones. There is also unmanaged instance group. Uh, if I get a chance, I will do a video on that sometime later. 
uh, but if you only go with the managed instance group you will have this option of multiple zones otherwise uh, you'll have to stick with a single zone okay so now let's try and choose the region I'm gonna choose Europe West 2 which is London region configure zones we don't have to because we've selected multiple zones so for the best um, performance for the best availability uh, they recommend us to choose at least three zones if I unselect one to maximize availability we recommend that you select at least three zones so I'm not worried about uh, choosing any specific zones so I choose all the three zones okay and instance template all the instance group needs to have an instance template because that's how it knows what to launch how to launch and so on okay so number of instances when you create a managed instance group you can specify the number of instance say for example I want this instance group uh, to always maintain two instances uh, from this template all right or based on an auto scaling configuration so here it says uh, number of instances is based on an auto scaling configuration which we are not going to do in this video but uh, you can look at the option here auto scaling auto scaling mode is auto scale and the auto scaling metrics is based on the CPU utilization so this CPU utilization is the collective CPU utilization so here we are saying minimum number of instance let's say I want a minimum of two instance to start with so this instance group when we click create it's going to provision us with two instant two instances and then if the CPU utilization if the collective CPU utilization goes about 60 percent it will increase the number of uh, instances so that uh, the collective CPU utilization falls below 60 percent all right and the auto scaling can happen up to a maximum of 10 instance so it can't go more than 10 instances, which we will see in a different video but for now I'm going to choose don't auto scale so if you choose don't auto scale this option will be enabled um, if you choose auto scale this field will be disabled so you won't be able to specify the number of instance here but you'll be able to specify the instance here so okay so don't auto scale I'm not worried about the auto scaling so here I'm specifying two instances so based for this instance group based on this instance template I want always two instances to be running okay so that's it and uh, instance redistribution no health check because we are not putting it behind a load balancer or anything create okay creating instance group let's give it a few minutes it should take about a minute or two to create the instance group so what is uh, doing behind the scene is when it when the instance group is getting created it actually creates the instances so if I go to instances it's not done yet so yeah instance group uh, the zone uh, the region Europe West 2 instances so at the moment we have zero instance but the desired count is two and we are using this template and that's the time we created this instance group auto scaling is currently off and if we enable it uh, it's based on the CPU utilization metric but we have turned off the auto scaling okay all right so instances two, and you see the little tick icon here which means it has provisioned us the two uh, instances so if I go to VM instances there we go so we've got two instances those are all managed by the uh, instance group so you can see that from the name here web server dash IG dash a random name so based on that you can find you can see from which instance group it was created so now if I go to the instance group and if I delete this instance group it's going to delete the instances as well but let's do one thing uh, for example if I uh, delete this one I'm going to select this uh, instance so what we are saying is this instance group should always maintain two instances right so let's say uh, the instance actually uh, stops or crashes then the instance group will bring up another instance so that it always makes sure that there are two instances in this instance group okay all right so actually you don't get an option to delete this uh, instance because it's managed by the instance group but I'm sure I deleted uh, the VM uh, when I was doing this testing but anyways I've selected that uh, there's no option to stop or there's no option to delete or reset or anything so if you hover over you can see you can't stop the VM instance that you've selected because it's managed by a group so you can't actually delete it 
you can ssh into it uh, but there is no way you can delete it unless you delete your instance group okay but that's um i don't know if that's uh, that's how it's supposed to work because when i did the testing i was able to delete a vm and then the instance group automatically spun up a new instance okay so why is it showing the warning here auto scaling is turned off that's fine so let's uh click that and uh, edit the auto scaling group so instance by status two in total um everything is good details okay so now let's try and increase the number of uh, instances so let's say number of instances i want three instances save and it's going to spin up another instance so if i go back to the instance group you can see here uh, so instances two let's wait for it to updating the instance group okay so once it updates the instance group we will see uh, the number of instances that are currently running yeah okay so if I go back to the instance group so the number of instance currently running is two but the desired capacity is three so it's going to launch another instance okay if I refresh yeah that's the the third one that got launched just now and if you want to delete it, you will have to delete the instance group. Let's go ahead and delete this instance group. Click on that instance group and click delete. Yes, I want to delete that instance group. Deleting instance group. OK, let's wait for the instance group. If I go to instances and um, refresh soon these three instances will be gone instance group all right so that instance group is gone and it has also taken down all the deleted all the instances that it has actually created so um that's all i wanted to show you in this video how to use a managed instance group to collectively manage a group of instances you can specify the number of instance you want so it will make sure that at all point it will have the desired number of instances if something goes wrong if it crashes or if one of the availability zone goes down it will make sure to launch that instance in a different zone uh, to have the count uh, that you've originally set in the instance group okay so probably in my next video i will try and uh, uh, show you a quick demo of how the auto scaling works maybe we can spin up a couple of instances and set the cpu utilization and do some stress testing and uh, introduce some artificial load to increase the cpu utilization about 60 percent and then see if uh, the auto scaling uh, kicks in and uh, increases the number of instances okay so that will be my next video and um, give, give this a try it's quite simple and if you've got any questions let me know in the comment i'll be happy to help and uh, i'll see you all in my next video Bye bye